Hello, I'm Atuba George. Welcome again to the year 2020. Praise God. Now, yesterday I began to share with you that the, the Spirit of God is going to... He's, he's your strength. Now, take note of that scripture I shared with you yesterday from Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 19. He's your strength. And he's your shield. He's going to make you walk upon the high places. See, see this year, you're not walking on any low place. So how's that going to happen? Let me tell you this truth. Even the troubles that will be thrown at you this year, the reason for those troubles is to cause you to rise and walk upon your high places. So let me tell you this. Any difficulty that you face this year, just know one thing. Set your mind for this. Listen, listen. This difficulty is for me to stand up and rise above it. So, so now I know that it's time to rise. Are you getting what I'm saying? So just rise. And when you rise, that's when you see the Lord being your strength. See, he's not going to be your strength by coming to pump some things inside of you. No, it is when you rise, then you will see the Lord as your strength. When David faced Goliath, he was just a small boy. But it was when he went after Goliath, it was evident that God was his strength. He could have looked at Goliath and said, mm -hmm, I give up. He could have done that. But you know what? He knew that his strength was beyond him. That's one thing I want you to settle for. Praise God. So listen, stepping into this year, there are certain things you need to make up your mind for. And you need to make up your mind from the beginning of the year. And now, what you make up your mind for right now is how the year is going to turn out for you. See, number one thing I want you to note is this. Settle this in your heart that God is your source. Now, the most uh, challenge, challenge that the most challenge that people face in life, or the most difficult place that people um, get in life, or the most the thing that distract the most is this thing I've just said your source now be your source of finances especially finances see because finances is mostly what we we have allowed to control everything that we do everything you want to do you need money now that's why you find you know even some some pastors teaching you know and they say the bible say money answer it all things but that's not what the bible taught the bible doesn't teach that money answers all things it was a statement that was made in the bible it doesn't mean it's right and actually, the statement doesn't even infer as a, as, as, as a truth that money answered all things. He was actually quoting what the, the bad politicians were, were saying or their reasoning. Now look, let's just enjoy. Let's eat and drink. After all, money will answer for everything. So it wasn't God that said money answers all things. But you see, because of such wrong teachings, we have so structured our lives around finances. Now, now God is helping us deal with this, this thought in our mind. But you see, you need to settle this in your mind that God is your source. I think you should just write it somewhere, somewhere bold that you, you, you see it if it's at the, at the wall facing your bed so that whenever you wake up, that's the first thing you see boldly written, God is your source. I mean, you should let that sink in your heart. You know why? See, this year, no matter how good it's going to be, there is going to be certain shakings that will take place this year. And when that shaking begins to take place, if you don't know what you're standing on, you might fall. You understand what I'm talking about? Now that's why I need you to settle it that God is your source. Not just me now. That's what the Spirit of God is saying I should tell you. Settle it. You know, Jesus said, when, when he was teaching disciples about the Lord's Prayer, what we call the Lord's Prayer. One of the very important things he said to them, he says, look, say this or pray like this. Give us this day our daily bread. Now, that's, that's big. It's big. I have thought on the Lord's Prayer. You can, search, you can search that topic on YouTube. It's big. Number one, he says, we should ask God for our daily bread. Notice, he says, give us this day. He didn't say give us this day daily bread. He said, give us this day our daily bread. Meaning, you that is asking must understand that you've got daily bread to receive from the Lord. Now, not just that you've got bread to receive from the Lord. You've got bread to receive from the Lord daily. And listen, 
It is heaven is structured that way that you should be supplied with daily bread. But if you don't know it, you won't expect it and you won't take advantage of it. So understanding that God is your source, that's one of the scriptures you should hold on to as an anchor. Every day, you must ask God to release from heaven your daily bread. And then you must release your faith to receive it because what Jesus said is true. Praise God. And, and, and then, now, when, when you say God is your source, sometimes you need to ask yourself this question, especially you know, those of you that God have blessed with material things and, 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 and finances. You need to ask yourself this question. Can I boldly walk out of everything I have right now and still be me? See? You understand what I'm saying? Can I, can I leave everything I have right now and just, just walk out of it and still be me? Or the house I live in, the car I drive, the, the money in my bank account, is that what defines me? Now, if that is what defines you, then God is not your source. You might just say, but it's God that gave me all these things. Yes, yes. You understand what I'm talking about? I'm saying you. The problem is not God. God can give you all those things and yet you take your heart away from the Lord. And you put your heart on those things. Now, what's going to happen? When those things shake, then you go down. But that's not what God wants for you. Praise God. So this is, this is one thing you must settle in your mind. God is my source. And now, like I say to you now, you take it and go ask the Spirit of God, Holy Spirit, I, I want you to help me settle this in my heart, that you are my source. And I want you to remain true and let it remain that way. Praise God. I'm going to continue this tomorrow. Until tomorrow, God bless you. Bye-bye.